on, on what? On, on Netflix? Go watch what? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. We're not starting. We're not starting. <laughs> You won't fool. You're not fooling me again, not, not Dave. Fooling me. <laughs> what is up? Welcome to another episode of the ABCs of the TPB. Man, it, it, that those two weeks just flew by. <laughs> it's almost as if it was only about seven and a half minutes. Yeah, you know, if that, if, if that, that, if that, we are back uh, with our O episode. Back uh, in the sack. Back in the sack. We'll be talking today about. Uh, Ninja Dave's pick. Oh, it's, sorry for it's me, yeah, your boy Seed, one of the hosts of the ABC's TPBs, and of course the other half is Ninja Dave. Ninja Dave is in the mix. If this is the first time you've listened to one of these shows, <clears throat> what we do is we are going through the alphabet A to Z, which is why it's called the ABC's. Uh, we each take a pick of a book, we swap it out a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, and then we sit down and review, and we figure out whether or not uh, we would continue reading this series, or maybe it just wasn't for us. Yeah, and sometimes we we agree, and sometimes we disagree, and have a fight to the death. You know. So, yes, yes. This is I'm Daryl Nine, and this is Dave Seven. <laughs> <laughs> is that our official scoring, by the way? Is it only a, the no Gomez idea. graphic? I just assume you've killed me eight other times, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I've managed to end you. Six, uh, I'm just seven. I'm just grateful that we had that necromancer friend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you to the Dark Lord Gomez yes. for consistently <laughs> bringing us back to life, <laughs> aka being the only person to actually uh, add thoughts to the podcast. Indeed. Um, so this week, uh, you brought us Outsiders, a DC joint looking for trouble. The Outsiders. The Outsiders. Judd Winnick, who, uh, when I started reading this, I had just gotten done reading The Red Hood, Under the Red Hood for the first time ever. Mm. And Judd Winnick wrote Under the Red Hood, which I very much enjoyed. Okay. Okay. Um, we have pencilers, three different pencilers on this joint. Mm. Tom Rainey, a dude named Chris Cross... <laughs> <laughs> and Ivan Reeves, who I've seen his name uh, here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, inkers, Scott Hanna, Sean Parsons, Mark Compost. We got colors, we got letters. Um, and special thanks. For some They're reason. in there. <laughs> <laughs> special thanks to Jeff Johns. I'm not sure why, because he has his fucking fingers in everything DC related. If I, if I remember correctly, I think the, the, the two or three DC related things that I've read just turn out to be like super silly stuff like the Batman Predator the um what was it the what was the other DC one for this joint? yeah oh, for the, the other, ABC the other the, silly thing you did was the Ghost Rider Punisher Wolverine that was that was Marvel yeah, that was Marvel, okay. so yeah. that was another DC thing that was like super silly I think but anyway go on yeah um this is a according to this a new breed of super team uh, there's an intro in there that uh, by Judd Winnick, and he pretty much said he wanted to make a team <clears throat> that was after the Teen Titans. Mm-hmm. Uh, after uh, people had died, they kind of broke it up. Mm-hmm. And there was another team as well, I think, that was ending their run. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of the amalgamation of those two teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they wanted to go a little bit darker, a little bit edgier mm-hmm. with their books. Um which I didn't really... This is 2003-ish, by the way. Yeah. Which I didn't see anything really super dark or super edgy in here. No, but no, no, I'm not no, sure no, comparatively to Comparatively what for the time. And also, <clears throat> this came out before Young Justice. And I think this this series kind of kind of was a spiritual uh, uh, precedent? Precursor? Precursor. So yeah, this precursor. kind of bridges the gap between like Teen Titans and Young Justice? Yeah. Okay. I, I would say it's, it kind of it has that, that vibe. Because... because by the way, the way the, the team is set up and just the dynamics and just the just the way everything functions is very similar to how Young Justice started out. Okay. I don't know if you've watched Young Justice at all. Nope. You are doing yourself a disservice, sir. I'm not a DC Table dude. Table flip. Man. I'm not a DC dude. No, I, you don't have to be a DC dude to young, young love Young Justice. You That's don't have to be a DC young dude to love a DC joint. Young Justice is one of the I would say the best animated American series. To date. First of all, don't you ever disrespect Animaniacs like that. Uh, or Ren and Stimpy. So! <laughs> uh, now that thunk you heard was my jaw hitting the floor. <laughs> uh, not, a, not a huge DC dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the slightest, I, I really just don't find their stories entertaining. I enjoyed this story. Ooh. I enjoyed it, sir. Uh yeah. Uh, not knowing shit about these characters, really, right. with the exception of obviously Nightwing, mm-hmm. Metamorpho, knew a little something, something about. Right. Um, 
Other than that, no idea who the rest of these cats were. Right. It's a whole bunch of sidekicks. It's a mixed bag of just mixed bag of C-listers. Who's who of who's that <laughs> right. is what this was. Right. Um, and I thought for a, a, a it's kind of serialized, right? Mm-hmm. Like each issue is kind of like uh, its own thing mm-hmm. with uh, an overarching story throughout. I kind of dig comic books that are like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have to have a, just a giant hundred issue one long story. I'm also cool with of uh, the episodic things as mm-hmm. long as they kind of tie in some kind of way mm-hmm. and that's what this was mm. I dug it I, I really I really dug it mm. um, Nightwing what, what is, it that, is, that, is doing his Nightwing thing yeah. I like that shit yeah. um, I really like that there's the, 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 the team starts out with beef nobody oh, trusts right. uh, uh, the android chick because mm-hmm. she's the one who killed some of the uh, viral crash she's the one that killed some of the titans mm-hmm. so I don't know why anybody would be thought that would be smart to put her <laughs> on a fucking team who former keep members your enemies of the titans keep your enemies <laughs> close so it starts out with beef and tension uh, you got is that Arsenal yeah yeah you got Arsenal uh, fucking doing his own weird shit too mm-hmm. uh, something isn't he like a Arsenal is in Heroes in Crisis alright so Side story. Okay. Heroes in Crisis is a new DC <laughs> series that just started. Okay. Written by Tom King, mm-hmm. Batman writer. Okay. Side story to side story, Batman, fucking phenomenal. Okay. All right. I am. I love the shit of his. It's writing. called. What's called what now? Batman. But, oh, okay. 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 So he's writing Heroes in Crisis. Okay. It's pretty much a story about uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman pull the resources together and they make. Uh, more or less a VA hospital for superheroes. Mm. You know, if they need uh, time to just kind of get themselves mentally checked out before mm. they get back into the game, mm. they go to Sanctuary, which mm. is what this place is called. Sanctuary. The yeah. story starts out with somebody just murdered everybody in Sanctuary. Oh, my God. Mm. I mean, like, legends <laughs> die off screen. Mm. Like, they just start out dead. Mm. Uh, your Wally was dead. Mm. Just starts out dead. Mm. Uh, Arsenal, one of the ones dead. Um, the only two people that made it out alive are Booster Gold oh, of and Harley Quinn. Uh, of course. And we don't know what their relationship is because she comes. It starts out with Booster Gold is in a coffee shop, just bedraggled. Mm. And Harley Quinn comes there looking for him, ready to fight. So you don't know if Booster Gold might have killed everybody in mm. there inadvertently, something like that, mm. or what the case is. But I was reading Heroes of Christ number one, fantastic. And I was like, why does this Arsenal dude sound so familiar? Mm-hmm. It's because of this damn book. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> and I like Arsenal in this as well, very mm-hmm. much so. Uh, so yeah, they start out, you know, they get their, their serialized adventures, they got the Gorilla Grodd and the Grodd gang mm-hmm. are, uh, are out there. They grind it up. <laughs> they're they're, they're, they're grinding it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just be out there grinding it up sometimes. Yeah. They got to deal with your boy, the Joker! Mm-hmm. Uh, kid, kidnapping Lex Luthor, of all people? I think that might be my favorite issue. I mean, this was the, this is a, a new series for its time. Yeah. And so you got to you gotta throw someone in there that people know. Because you got you got this group of C-listers. Yeah, and you're, and like, you're like, who's going to... Oh, okay, Joker. Okay, I, I, can, I, can, yeah. I, can, I can do it. I can do it. I can, that's, that's Lex Luthor, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I know him. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole mystery with Metamorpho as well. There's mm-hmm. there's some shit in here to read, man. Yeah. There's, 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 there's some stuff in there. I mean, it... it, it it's touching too. That there's some some realizations that uh, some characters, have, especially Metamorpho, uh, this yeah, it, it touches at the heartstrings. That, that that the whole last mm-hmm. issue is pretty much about Metamorpho, mm-hmm. and I was like, because eh. he's the dude I probably like the most on the team. Yeah, because uh, he's like the old hat of the gang. You know, he's kind of the wise and vet, mm-hmm. but he's he, he's still not old enough in the in the game that he. He can't crack a joke or two. Right. And you know, he's, he's got some memory gaps. He's, just, so he's, yeah, he's not that all there. Humor. Yeah. Yeah, he's not all there. Uh, I, I dig what they what they do in this in this joint, man. I mm. really dig it. Okay. If, if, is this just it for her? For no, no, one? that's the first volume. This is there's the first a series. Yeah, when I, I was first kind of iffy on it because it's got like the old school comic book <laughs> feel. Like, yeah. I'm so used to Image where they got like the, mm-hmm. the glossy pages oh, and whatnot. Yeah. And I was like, what is this, like 1987? <laughs> like, <laughs> it almost was. Oh, get out of here with this, man. <laughs> I was almost like, don't throw this book across the room. Hmm. But, uh, I'm glad but you did not. I did not. I'm also glad I did not. This is 2004 mm-hmm. is when this all came together. I guess uh, a lot of the shit came out in 2003 as well. Mm-hmm. I would be interested in checking out another volume of this. This okay. is a go for me, so. Okay. If, if that's the case, I can I can bring uh, the, the 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 following trades over. Yeah. Or if you just want to grab them online, everyone. Grab them online for the cheap. All right. Do, do yeah. your thing. I am. Uh, I will not <clears throat> spoil you on 
one of many reveals that happened with this. It, it's a doozy. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. I yeah, I really really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was one of those ones I was like, let me sit down and just like read uh, one two, and uh, you know put it down and come back to it and read a little bit here. And I think I ended up reading this whole thing in one sitting, man. Let me put my straw hat on for a moment and twirl my cane. Let me tap this uh, this briefcase here. It's got exactly what you need. If you like the outside of the good well, I've got the thing for you. <laughs> a little thing that I call Young Justice. You gotta check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Revolutionizes the entire animated uh, world. You, you, you got, got, you, you've got your Nightwing. You've, you, you've, got your, you've got your Robin. You've got your Batman. It, it's, it's all there. Okay. You should, you should go for it. All right, then. I'm you should watch it because, because they're gonna uh, they're gonna release Young Justice season three. Uh, you've heard on about the DC that. streams. Yeah, on the yeah, stream. Yeah, I remember but, everybody was all up in the arms like, "Why did you cancel Young Justice?" Exactly because it was so fucking good. Yeah, and man. I was like, I don't understand why people even thought about this show. Uh, all right, you need to watch it. I need to, I and watch that's, what, that's one of those series you have to watch in sequence. You can't go like you can't just be like, "Oh, it's season three, episode two. No, no, you can't do okay, it. in yeah. sequence. It tells it tell one long story, or there's what the events of one thing. There, 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 there. There's an overarching. There, there are several overarching things that are going on, but also each episode can be taken on its own. But okay. it's it is important to watch. Watch it in, in sequence. So serialized with the overall. Yes. Okay. It's good. With history. It is good. I, I would recommend that because because you know you're, you're you're taking your time getting and reading and stuff. But look 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 look. Just because I'm not reading what you want to read doesn't mean I'm taking time reading stuff. That's exactly what it means. I've been blazing through. That's exactly what it means. But no, if, if you're looking, if you want to kind of cleanse the palate a little bit and trying to hey let me let me, let me I'm doing the reading stuff for a while. Let me watch something and entertain it. Just go ahead and pop in some Young Justice. Some young Justice, you say. Young Justice. Well, I don't have the DC streaming service, but I can find some ways. Well, there, there are ways. Okay. There are ways. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add to this? What about the art? <clears throat> What's your thoughts on the art on this? this the is art very, is solid. This um, is, yeah, they're very, very standard. It is that, it artwork. is that, that, I don't always say a comfortable merging between kind of the old school and the new school. Yeah, it is. It Crisp is. artwork. The pages aren't the glossy. Yeah. Uh, as you were saying. But it, it's, it's solid work. It's solid work. You know what I'm saying, and and that it it, it complements the the storytelling well. It, yeah, it feels it feels like it fits. Sometimes when you read something, and it's like the words don't fit the art, or the art doesn't doesn't fit the words. The art doesn't know? fit the story. Kind of yeah. like Mark Wade's Daredevil. Like mm-hmm. to me, Daredevil is supposed to be one of your darker, grittier dudes, and yeah. his run was just. It looked like a cartoon in a comic book. Yeah, and I just I couldn't take it the bold on the, I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, this would be a go for me, sir. Okay, that's good. That's a, it's a, it's, it's a. I won't say it's re- it's redeemed you yet, but it's a point in your corner. It's a point in my corner. All right, corner. Then. and we will be back after these messages to see if there's a point in Dave's corner for original sign. Mm, we shall see. <laughs> Never touch your kid again, I'll fight you. Fuck Batman. All right, we are back with the original Sin. Mm. Who shot the Watcher? By Jason Aaron and Mike Diodato. And that's it, Diodato. Yep. Is it that's Diodato? Oh, it's Diodato. <laughs> it was not Japanese, well, so it's not that. He could be. He that's could. He could be. But uh, written by Jason Aaron, artist uh, Mike Diodato, color artist Frank Martin, letterer VCs Chris Eliopoulos. I see that dude's name a couple places. That Greek bastard. He he uh, is uh, he's he's staying. He has work. Yeah. He's, uh, cover art: Julian Totino Tedesco. I've seen Tedesco and some uh, things uh-huh. as well. Assistant ed- editor: Jake Thomas. Editors: uh, Tom Brevort. Brevort. Brevort with uh, Will Moss. So, <clears throat> original sin uh, compiles uh, the things that ha- happened in the original sin series, uh, kind of like story arc. Now, if I remember correctly. This is just kind of the main pieces, but there was a crossover across spanning many books that this took place in, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So there was original Cause sin. Because it's, it's Marvel and they have to sell you on everything. Yeah. So, like, during the original <clears throat> sin time, there was also 
a lot of the other series were kind of dealing with original sin. But the original sin main story mm -hmm. is just part of a larger, overarching, crazy ass hundred issue Avengers run. It, 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 it is it, my favorite Marvel overall run of all time. It starts out with a <clears throat> well, I'm saying it starts out, but it, but very very close to the beginning, it starts off with the mystery of uh, Uatu, the Watcher, who shot uh, being killed, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the, the the mystery of you know who 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 of anyone could kill the watcher who sees everything who sees all knows sees all everything yep <clears throat> so it's a murder but, mystery yeah murder mystery when this first came out I was not I didn't get into it because it was one one of many quote unquote Marvel um, um, Marvel events. events yeah that and I by that time I'd grown tired of Marvel events after the I think it was I think it was the Civil War and then they we have the the, the, the scrolls and then Annihilation Secret War invasion, yeah. Secret Invasion <clears throat> and I had become fatigued by the Marvel events because, not just because they were there, they just kept happening back to back. Yeah. Um, as as opposed to the when they the how they used to have like one big event a year and just kind of let that be it, but also because the endings of these events were just very unsatisfying. To me. Mm, they did okay. not. It felt to me like they didn't know how to end them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so when this was going on, the most I heard about was hey yeah. Uh, Nick Fury whispered something into Thor's ear, oh. and he couldn't lift. He could no longer lift Mjolnir. Ain't nothing but a muffin. Got a whole lot of butter to go. Now, when I asked Jason Aaron what was whispered in Thor's ear, that was his response. What did he say? Ain't nothing but a muffin. Got a whole lot of butter to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not something Jason Aaron would say. Yeah, I love Jason Aaron. He's a cool dude. It still hasn't been revealed what was said to Thor. It's been revealed. It has. Can yes. You, could you tell me? Can you? Can you I mean, I'm not gonna. I'll tell you off. The Oh, I mean, it, it ties into because Jason Aaron was also writing Thor, mm -hmm. so it ties into what he had already written for okay. Thor, right. and it also <laughs> serves. Well, I'll talk about what Original Sin does for Marvel at okay. towards the end. Well, then maybe that will change my perspective on it. All right. Uh, so I, I did. I did read this. It was. It, it was an interesting question, <clears throat> interesting mystery posed. Uh, some of the pacing was was good. Mm -hmm. um, it got a lot of the you know the the old standbys involved. It's got Wolverine. It's got uh, Captain America. You got you got you know the villainous Tony Stark. Uh, God, <laughs> you people are gonna learn that Tony Stark is not a villain. Really? Even yes, after, Tony Stark after, is not a villain. Even after I've been Superior arguing this for Iron Man? three days straight with somebody. Even after uh, Superior Iron Man. Why people always forget Superior Iron Man? It is the exact same thing as Superior Spider Man. And they were both. Uh, affected mentally in different ways. Doc yeah. Ock had taken over Peter Parker's body right. in Spirit Spider Man. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, I think, it was some like, what the fuck was Axis? Something happened in the big event that comes after this that nobody talks about. Axis, mm -hmm. where heroes became villains and villains became heroes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where Superior Iron Man was. He had gone <clears throat> villain at that point. Full, he'd gone full villain at that point. No, he'd gone villain. Uh, at that he, point. he was just he was just negligent before. Uh, yeah, full, not, not, but not the <laughs> villain. <laughs> villains are they have the intent of doing villain shit. Well, Tony Stark never has the intent. Never has the intent to do villain stuff. No, nope. I mean, I mean uh, 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 the Illuminati anyone. Uh, I mean, that I mean, like was a group of people, not a bunch of Tony Starks at the table. Well, I mean, Tony Stark was was the main proponent. Oh, okay. How was he the main proponent? I mean, so, so we're not giving any credit to Doctor Strange or Beast or Black Bolt? I'll, I'll give him some. I'll give him some. But, 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 but okay. Tony, Tony Stark, man, that's it. We'll, we'll talk about this more. Anyway. <laughs> this guy. You get you get the old crew back together. Uh, there's, a, there's a plot. You figure out there's a plot that's been hatched to take out Uatu. Uh, for reasons we won't uh, divulge all the reasons here, uh, or the main reasons here, but it does have to do with the master of intrigue and the the keeper of secrets, Nick Fury, Nicholas J. Um, so he's David uh, Hasselhoff. David, <laughs> I watched that <laughs> back in the day. I'm I was sorry. like, I, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry too, <laughs> but this is one of those things. Like, if you haven't seen Nicholas Fury. Played by David David Hasselhoff, you simply haven't lived, <laughs> or you're doing your your life right. Yeah, that too. But I mean, you're missing out on a hellacious Halloween costume. <laughs> Don't hassle the Hoff. <laughs> um, but no, this the the intrigue was interesting in in this uh, in this series. I just found myself just really not caring about what was all of this the stuff surrounding. I mean, we, we figure out who who killed Watu and why. 
but it's just everything that has that built up to it, it just it didn't. And maybe this is because I hadn't read all the other stories that this series affected. But I just didn't care. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just didn't didn't care about what was going on. I I, I found myself skimming this one. Okay. I I, I read. Yeah, I just it, it just it wasn't for me. It just wasn't for you. Okay. I couldn't I couldn't deal with it. Tell me, sir, why you loved original sin and the far reaching impact it has for the Marvel universe. The things, the changes that will happen that will never, never <laughs> things will never be the same. Uh, original <clears throat> sin is, I guess, Marvel's version of DC's Identity Crisis, which is the most boring shit I've ever read in my entire Identity life. Identity Crisis was pretty bad. People, people fucking love Identity Crisis. I don't know why. People love it. It's whack. It's whack. Um, original Sin is a much better uh, murder mystery. It's a murder mystery that actually has consequences. Oh, yeah. I don't know it didn't if have Identity the... Crisis had any consequences. But I, it helped me. It, it, it's, it's, comic books can't have consequences. Yeah. It, didn't, um, it didn't have any traces of rape anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Imagine that. Imagine that. A story about <laughs> rape. Um, uh, I, I, I do love it because of what spun out of it. The, okay. the consequences of this book are far, far reaching. All right. Um, like I said, this is part of a large um, Avengers run being told. Mm-hmm. Um, and you brought up the Illuminati. There was a time where Cap was part of the Illuminati. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's like a day, and he's like, "Wait a minute, this is <laughs> this is this is uh, underhanded." Uh, and, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cap was part of the Illuminati. Uh, the rest of them. Do events were like, yo, Cap got to No, he's got to go. And the uh, new Avengers run. <laughs> he's bringing my buzz down. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So uh, Doctor Strange wipes his mind, right? Mm, yeah. And uh, when Cap wakes up at the beginning of a it's brand a Carol, new... It's a Carol Danvers move. Yeah. No. The beginning of a, a, a brand new Avengers run. Cap wakes up and he's like, man, I'm just... I don't know, I just feel weird. And Tony mm-hmm. Stark, who was the, was the first one to say, let's wipe his mind. Mm-hmm. Tony Stark's like, hey, you okay, buddy? Is everything all right with you, Cap? You feel a little bit weird. Um, so <laughs> I was this... right about Civil War, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so you go this whole Avengers series, uh, Cap not knowing his mind's been wiped. Mm-hmm. One of the things that happens in Original Sin is Oatu's eye is revealed to the public. Mm-hmm. And anybody that is in a certain distance, every secret that was being kept from them was revealed to them, mm-hmm. and Cap was there. Mm-hmm. So Cap finds out that Tony had wiped his mind. Uh, and then a good bit of the Avengers series after that, while dealing with the oncoming destruction of the Earth, deals with Cap hunting down Tony and his gang for some of the things that they've done. Mm. So it's very cat and mouse and both of them are also still trying to stop the world from, from shattering. Sure. Uh, Spider-Man was there. He <clears throat> finds out that the spider that bit him does not immediately die. It goes on and bites somebody else. So he finds that out, and that spins out a whole new Marvel series called mm-hmm. Silk, and that's how we get the Silk series, which mm-hmm. is very, very, very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, because one of these characters takes Nick Fury's place as the ultimate badass. That spins out his own series, uh, which is also very, very good. This mm-hmm. is why I love that character. He's my favorite Marvel character of all time. Mm-hmm. So a lot of shit spins out of just the secrets that are revealed in mm-hmm. this joint. The fact that the Nick Fury we thought we knew is not the Nick Fury we thought we knew. Mm-hmm. And the fact that a Z-list villain is the one that managed so much turmoil. Oh, and yeah. it also gives very us... Very Z-list. Yeah, very Z-list. It gives us a the beginning of the Jane Foster Thor run, which I consider the greatest Thor run of all time. Hmm. Yeah. I've, I've, read the, I've read a good portion of the Jane Foster Thor, and it is... A superior Thor. Yep. If Thor is not made worthy of his hammer, you don't get that. Right. Uh, so even in this big Marvel event, he was already seeding the events of the next series that he wanted to write. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it's just a good, like, there's different people doing different things, trying to solve this mystery from multiple ends. Of course, it all ties together in one place. And mm. you just see strange, odd team-ups you wouldn't normally see, like Bucky and Gamora and Moon Knight are out there on an adventure. You're like, well, who put mm-hmm. those three together? Yeah. Doctor Strange and Punisher are put together. And you're like, yeah, who that was, these fools together? I was like, oh my god, that's, what, what is this? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's, it's a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the art in it, and it just... The, art, the artwork was solid on this. I, I will say that the artwork was was great. Yeah. It was the, it was the story that, that, that did not hold, didn't, do didn't, it for me. No go for you, huh? I don't say, and again, maybe it's, it's it, maybe it's because, like I said, this is that that pre culmination of all these other series that you loved. This was kind of the the you know, the, the ground floor for all, for yeah. the seed for all that stuff. You, you know, seed has a has a it's not just a theme with you. It's, it's, it's a way man. of life. It is. It is. Sir. Um, it certainly is. But yeah, just I guess I, I find I just didn't care about 
a lot of things that were revealed because it just didn't have many stakes. Many stakes in it. Mm, okay. I read, 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 read. Yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot of stakes in the murder mystery. They just want to find out who did it. And there's not a whole lot of stakes in just trying to find out who murdered somebody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's not like if they find out or if they don't find out, you know, the, the world ends. Yeah, the clock is ticking. Right? Right? There's, there's no ticking yeah. clock. They're just trying yeah. to figure out, follow the clues. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there might be mm-hmm. no reason why they did it. It's refreshing because there is no stakes. It's just a simple, straightforward, who killed this dude? Uh, what I did, the justice. Yeah, the very first Pop Rico Awards, <clears throat> which would be like episode fourteen ish of the Pop Rico podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, first Pop Rico Awards. Uh, this was my one of the categories is story arc of the year. Mm-hmm. This was my story arc of the year. Really? Yeah. Did it win? Uh, I mean, what well, each of us, is, the way we do it is three of us come together, we have our different categories, and mm-hmm. we just say, well, we just talk about what each would win for our categories. Mm-hmm. What were the other two? Uh, we did, so it's best movie, best television show, best hero, best villain, best scene from a movie, and best comic book arc. Mm, I have to go back and listen to this episode. Yeah, I mean, 14. 14, I think episode 29 was the 2015 one. So yeah, we, we've mm-hmm. done one each year, and for mm-hmm. season. <clears throat> 11 of the podcast coming up. We'll be doing it again. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. So, and that's about it. You got anything else for uh, for uh, Original Sin? Other, other than uh, saying there's a no-go for me. Uh, that That's it for me, Original Sin. That does uh, I, I think I, I said my piece on Original Sin, sir. Uh, yeah, I think uh, you made it quite clear that you uh, made love to it. it uh, uh, many times. Uh, I mean, I uh, own this digital and physical. That's right. You, you, did, you did say that. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Well, you, Share it with me everywhere I you, go. You can't fault a man for loving his comics. You can't fault. Uh, what, let, me, let me get your question, <laughs> your perspective on this. Mm-hmm. When your superheroes go into space, mm-hmm. the superheroes have no damn business being in space. Does it ever turn you off of a story? Because then you see like Black Widow with Spider-Man like space suits and, and helmets in Captain suits. America. And what it reminds me of is that Probably like the third or fourth series in a, of an action figure line where they're just all out of all out of <laughs> ideas. <laughs> Let's send these motherfuckers to space. <laughs> Ninja Turtles in space. <laughs> Batman in space. I'm like, we don't need a space line. Machete like, in space. Listen, yeah. Like, what the hell is this? But yeah, that, that's how it made me feel. I was like, oh, they're in space. Okay. Ah. Oh. I mean, doesn't Watu have like, uh, like, like in the old days and uh, in the old co- days of comics, mm-hmm. I mean, people didn't care about things like little details like oxygen. Can they breathe in outer space? They just teleported them up to a place and like, hey, be in there. You're inside this this thing. It must have oxygen. You guys are okay. <laughs> <laughs> space suit, nah. nah. I don't need all that. Yeah, yeah. I just, you got I just superheroes. I just find it kind of goofy like towards the end like Spider-Man you have no business being out there fighting anybody in a space <laughs> look space you micro-man like you Wolverine in space right. suits and Widow how in space how is he gonna get suit? the claws out that's gonna <laughs> puncture <laughs> any kind of seal he already had that's a good point so, oh he's also got healing factors well, he so does really but you know him, still, but, yeah. he's slowly suffocating yeah, just, you know, it's just yeah yeah. Space suits are just in comic books are dumb <laughs> <laughs> unless they're the Fantastic Four I guess that's Fantastic well, Four yeah but the thing is I think um, maybe it's, it's because spacesuit designs are not, they're never <clears throat> appealing? Real, uh, appealing slash realistic. Because okay. it's like, you know, you see the stuff that our astronauts use, and then you see some stuff like, you know, like the, in, the, in the Martian, and it's like, it's like a little slightly updated, looks yeah. more like the kind of like a speed suit with some Kevlar and some yeah. microfiber, some mesh, that kind of stuff. But in this stuff, it's like, how much shit can we stack on top of these guys? Make it look cool. Make it look cool, yeah. and then and then the release it as an action, a bulky action figure. Yes, it's like a, a, a two dollar higher price point now mm-hmm. because of it. I'm like, he just he just threw some extra shit on merchandise. Oh, what about Iron Man in space? Does that make sense to you? I mean, Iron Man doesn't need a spacesuit for first of all. He's a self. He has a self contained. <laughs> He's already in a suit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so to sense. have a suit. On top of his Iron Man suit, I was like, "Oh no! Okay, okay. Oh no! All right, then Doom funny. would not stand for this." <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of which, man, the the, uh, the news came out that uh, MCU Disney will officially have acquired all Fox assets by one January two thousand nineteen. Good, good. <laughs> so we will we will have our Dooms and our X Men and our Fantastic Four, and for better or for worse, our Deadpool's. Back in with the rest of the family. The question is: Are these movies they have planned? Are they gonna? Then they've already started filming and things. Are they gonna continue that? Everything X Men Dark Phoenix has been filmed. 
Yeah. Yeah, they're in post production. Yeah. New Mutants is doing their reshoots now. So mm-hmm. that should be the very last thing that they come out Because if, if there's anything that Star Wars has taught us, is that you can reshoot an entire film. You can. If you need to. Yeah, you definitely can. Rogue One taught us that. Yeah. Uh, but reshoots is built into most movies. But Dark Phoenix redid their entire third act. New <laughs> Mutants, they reshot the entire movie. Mm. Uh, I have a feeling that neither one of those will be good. But. Ten bucks, the, the reshoots will directly lead into them getting into the MCU proper. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Well, Phoenix has to destroy some rift that, that brings both universes together and finally you know, the mutants can they can coexist with the enhanced abilities on the Earth, whatever. You know, whatever. <laughs> what, 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 what number thank you. What number is uh is the MCU anyway? It's an official thing. Earth something 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 something. I mean, in, in the end, it doesn't matter because all Earths have been destroyed in that Avengers run. Well, uh, but yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. not sure what their Earth designation is. It's all about the six one six. Oh yeah, it is the six one six. Yeah. All right, I think uh, I think that's it for this episode of the okay. sir. It is. It is it. Uh, I think we had uh, we had fun. Mm-hmm. We, um, we didn't murder each other this time, but this there's, there's, this still, there's still there's Dark still Dark Lord Gomez can resurrect us next episode. Yeah, there's, I mean, I'm, I'm holding. And you know what? That's, that's what I want to do. I wanted to to hold Seed hostage because we have 24 uh, Patreon uh, patrons out there, mm-hmm. and I'm holding him hostage until we get that 25, that sweet 25. Just, just give me that sweet 25. That's what I'm but there's 24 is not a round, uh, not a good round number. Not a good round number. I mean, you yeah. can yeah, it's divisible by two, but you know, two, I mean, four, I, six, eight, yeah, I mean, but twelve. Uh, <laughs> twenty four, I guess. Hey, where are you? Uh, but yeah, like twenty five would be a nice, a nice good number. I mean, I'm gonna be real honest, like fifty, a hundred be nice. Quarter of a century, but I mean, we'll be a fourth of the way there. I yeah. say, and I say we, and I mean actually you. I mean, the hundred subscribers <laughs> does unlock our first goal. What is the first goal? Uh, a Pop Riga documentary, man. Ah. Hey, a documentary of the behind the scenes, the making of Pop Riga, titled uh, "The Little Engine That Kind of Did." Uh, so if you want to help us get to that 100 goal so we can work on this Pop Breaker documentary then and many other projects and, and, and many other projects yes patreon.com slash Pop Rica P-O-P-R-I-K-A podcast is the way you get to that indeed Indeed. And choose the tier that's right for you, man. We got tiers to just get a shout out on the show. You got a tier where you get a nice sweet paprika sticker, uh, which we have uh, gotten commissioned. We got a tier where you can uh, have input onto uh, certain shows of what we talk about. You know, you got opinions. You know, you got opinions. Yeah, tier, you're going to be a guest on the shows. So, you know, find what's right for you out there. Indeed. $2. I'll take that. The $20, I'll take that. Any little bit helps. You won't buy a Tesla, but you know what? I get it. I get it. It won't buy Tesla, but if you do something like the twenty dollars joint, that's one hour of studio time. So these joints sound clean and professional, crisp for you, crisp. So crisp. Popricka.com coming hopefully sometime soon. Thanks mm-hmm. to the Patreon. Indeed, it's been fun, guys. Uh, we will catch you on the next episode for the peas. Uh, what, what do we have for peas? Uh, I've got uh, uh, another Warren Ellis joint for you. Uh, planetary. I can't wait. I know you can't. I know you can't wait. You already have it digitally, even though I do it, have it digitally. Right oh, you're signed by Ellis himself, yeah, man. Yeah, there. I told you. Should knock that shit off his desk. Uh, and I, I have big. the Paper Girls by uh, BKV, our man Brian K. Vaughn for Image. Yes, Brian K. Vaughn. He's just, he's just knocking everything out of the park. I mean, that's what, that's what the man does. He's on a year break from Paper Girls, so yep. we need something. We need something. We need something. Uh, Wildstorm DC. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, then. We'll see you guys, hopefully, in two weeks in for two weeks. the peas. Take it easy.